The city of Omaha continues to study traffic lights throughout town. One intersection is getting a lot of buzz. 3 News Now reporter Max Carlton has more on what's driving you crazy. The $35 million traffic signal master plan across the city continues and some 1,000 lights have been using outdated technology. To get funding from the federal government, which could cover 80% of the cost of upgrading them, the lights have to be studied. Business owners in and around Bel Air Plaza on 120th and Center are concerned about what could happen. Without the lights, it's really going to hurt the center. It's going to be dangerous. Nobby's owner Gordon Watanabe thinks removing the light just south of Arbor on 120th Street is unnecessary. We have 110,000 customers last year that came to our store. That number in jeopardy because of safety. Across Bel Air Plaza, Saul's manager John Deneen is just as concerned. With the volume of traffic we see on this street, we believe these lights have to stay. The city will study the intersection for 90 days. For the first 45 days, the traffic lights will flash yellow and red. And for the last half of the study, they'll go dark. Once those blinking lights go away, people aren't going to be slowing down anymore. Deneen believes that number of accidents will rise. In these past 30 days, we've even seen more accidents happening. I'm hoping that this won't last before there's, that could possibly be a tragedy with the amount of traffic, especially at peak times. Bel Air Plaza owner Dale Slonico saw the need for those lights decades ago. Over 30 years ago, I uh, paid for the lights myself to, because uh, I did see a need, a tremendous need then at that time. Since then, the road has been widened and the population has grown. Slonico says the light has been keeping people safe until now. And you just can't make a left hand turn out of my plaza. Uh, with the with the traffic, it's, ter it's terrible. Signs and posters are now up in the area with the goal of getting the community's support to keep the lights. Reaction people is very good. They're very concerned about the light. A lot of the customers inside the center are elderly, and so um, they're scared to death of coming out of the center. Now, following the 90-day traffic study there, the city will determine its fate. Other traffic signals being studied are 108th and Oak, 73rd and Mercy, 84th and Spring, with pedestrian crossings at 51st and Farnham, and 52nd and Chicago being studied as well. Let me know what's driving you crazy at Max Tarleton on Twitter and at Max Reports on Facebook. You can always also send us a tip at news at 3newsnow.com. In the studio, Max Tarleton, 3 News Now.